This video will show you how to wirelessly link your PIM 400 to the AD 400 lock and how to test the function of the lock remotely. The PIM must be coupled to the HHD prior to this process. Watch the Coupling the HHD video to learn how. Turn on the HHD and log into the utility software as manager. The following instruction is for the PIM 400 485 only. Connect the HHD to the USB port in the PIM. Tap Device Options and then tap on PIM Properties. Tap on the Link tab at the top of the screen. In the drop down menu, choose the door number to which you intend to link. Tap Link and the HHD will prompt you to put that door into link mode now. LEDs on the PIM will alternately flash red and green, indicating that it is in link mode. The following instruction is for the PIM 400 TD2 only. In a PIM 400 TD2, press the red Link 1 button to link the PIM to Door 1, or press the red Link 2 button to link the PIM to Door 2. The corresponding LED will flash red and green, indicating that the PIM is in linking mode. Both PIM series will remain in link mode for 30 minutes to give you time to go to the door to complete the link process. Once at the device, open the door and hold down the inside lever or press and hold the exit device push bar. While holding the lever or bar down, present a readable credential to the reader or press the pound key on the keypad. Continue to hold down the lever or push bar until the Schlage button starts to flash. Once the flashing begins, you may release the lever or push bar. If the lock and PIM are within range, they will now test communication. It may take up to 10 seconds for this test to begin. Green flashes indicate good communication. If the test is successful, the Schlage button will flash green and beep a number of times. The number of beeps indicates which RF channel was used. Red flashes indicate poor communication. If the test is not successful, the lock will try to link again. If the third and final attempt is not successful, the Schlage button will flash red multiple times and sound a rapid series of beeps. If the lock and PIM are out of range, there will be no rapid flashing at all during the three link attempts. If a link attempt fails, you can change the RF channel in the Edit tab of the utility software or move the PIM to a location that is closer to your AD400 door. For each adjustment you make, repeat the link process until you are successful. Once you have successfully linked your AD400 device with your PIM, you can perform a few simple tests to ensure your system is working properly. With the HHD connected to the PIM 400, tap Device Options in the main SUS screen, and then tap Diagnostics. Choose the door address for the door you wish to test. With a colleague at the door, you can work with them to perform the following tests. Opening and closing the door to test the door position switch. Depressing the inside lever or bar to test the Request to Exit switch. Depressing the outside lever to test the Request to Enter switch. If the Unlock on Read box is checked, present a readable credential to the reader and the lock will unlock. If you have a keypad reader and the Unlock on Read box is checked, press any key except the Schlage key and the lock will unlock. The key you have pressed will be displayed on the HHD screen. Test the inside cover tamper switch by pulling the cover slowly away from the inside assembly. On the HHD diagnostic screen, the OK status should change to tamper as you do this. Once you have completed all these tests successfully, you can repeat with other doors linked to your PIM 
by selecting the other door numbers in the drop-down menu. When you are finished linking and testing, exit the SUS and disconnect the HHD from your PIM. You are now ready to connect your PIM to your access control panel. For more information, consult your user guide.